going on, guys? It's your favourite pirate who burns cans of monsters to feed his mob, Leo Beast Hamster, Roly Dog. Since I've made a guide for almost every faction, except Hunter's Call, <laughs> anyway, it's time for the Athena's Fortune Guide and Qualified Pirate Legend, Episode 5. Kick it, Kev! There are four quests for this faction, Athena's Fortune Void, Ash and Athena's Fortune Void, Athena's Run of Thieves Haven and the Gilded Voyage of Legends. So the Athena's Fortune Void is a mix of every type of void, so you will get two buried treasure maps with four chests each, two riddle maps with four clues each, two skeleton bounty maps with four captains each and finally you will get two cargo runs which will have four to six crates each. But you don't need to deliver the cargo, just collect it and chapter two is the chest of legends or Athena, whatever you want to call it and it will be one dig site on a large island. The Ash and Athena's Fortune Voyage is the same as the normal one, but in Volcano Land, so you will get an Ashen Chest of Legends, which is quite lucrative. There will be more on the Athena's Run of Thieves Haven later, but basically it consists of five chapters. Chapter 1 is Free Exes on Thieves Haven. Chapter 2 is a riddle on either Snake Island, Crook's Hollow, or Devil's Ridge. Chapter 3 is Six Exes on Thieves Haven. Chapter 4 is a riddle map on either Snake Island, Crook's Hollow, or Devil's Ridge. And Chapter 5 will be Nine Exes on Thieves Haven. And finally, the Gilded Voyage of Legends. This voyage only comes out once a year during the season of giving event, and once it's gone, it's gone. But it's the same as an ordinary Athena voyage, but instead of one Athena, you get three. Now with regards to Emissary, there is no level to unlock this flag so you can buy it as soon as you turn Pirate Legend. But it's hard to level up, but a lot of things can help, so take a listen. Finding a storage crate, killing the Megalodon or Kraken, sinking a skelly ship, solving a riddle clue, finding all the X's on a map, killing a Reaper's Bones Emissary player, killing skeleton captains, picking up an Ash and Whiskle, and a bunch more random stuff will help you gain Emissary reputation. Right, I'm finally getting this out the way. I mentioned Hunter's Call because it, while yes, fishing is boring, there is another way, folks. That is right, mermaid gems can be sold to this faction. And here's the best part, you will find loads of them on the Thieves Haven, so it's worth selling the gems to Hunter's Call because fishing is bad. No one likes fishing. Everyone wants 50 Hunter's Call. So yeah. This guide is quite simple as it only uses one voyage and this is the Thieves Haven run. You can purchase this voyage from the Rinner outside the tavern. It's worth buying two so you can do one straight after the other. The reason we are using this voyage is because it's almost guaranteed an emissary grade 4 and you have a rare chance of digging up an Athena keg and a very rare chance of digging up an Athena chest or chest of legends whichever you prefer but unfortunately I haven't managed to do that yet. You will be given three X's for Thieves Haven to do. Do the map as normal, but before you leave, get the green flame of fate by dying to a skeleton, phantom, or ocean crawler. Once you have it, store it on your boat for safekeeping, as you will need it later. Once you have dug all three X's, you will be given the map for either Snake Island, Crook's Hollow, or Devil's Ridge. Head over there and do the riddle as normal, but make sure you have the green flame, because when you dig up the chest, a green shadow of fate skeleton will spawn in, and you need to raise your lantern near it to kill it. If you and your crew die, it will despawn, but if you kill the skelly, it will drop an ancient skull of fortune. Now you should have a buried treasure map with 5 X's on for Thieves Haven, go complete that, but whilst you're there get the red flame of fate, to obtain this you need to die by fire. Then like chapter 2 you will get a riddle map for either of the three islands I mentioned earlier, but the island will not be the same as the island in chapter 2. Complete the riddle as normal, but at the end take the red flame of fate because when you kill this skelly he can drop a villainous ancient skull of fortune. Once completed, Chapter 5 will give you 9 X's on Thieves Haven, and this is where you get most of your emissary grade. Once you have double dug up all 9 X's, you should be grade 4, if not very close. All you want to do now is restart the Voyager or go out and hunt skelly ships and megalodons. I personally restart the Voyager because you will also get Athena loot, and you are already at Thieves Haven. Once you reach grade 5, you can either sell or keep your loot. I personally sell because if I sink, I don't lose all my progress, but what you do need to do is lower the flag and claim your emissary quest. You have to lower and re-raise the flag if you want to repeat this method in the same server. Basically, you lower the flag so the emissary quest resets and you'll be able to get another one when you reach grade 5 again. The emissary quest is as follows. A buried treasure map with 7 X's that guarantee Athena items. A riddle map with a collector's chest with a small Athena item. And the skeleton bounty map with 4 bounties, each dropping an Athena skull. Once you have completed all that, you will receive a map that has 2 X's on it. One of these will be the Chest of Legends and the other one will be an Anthophina keg.
And if you don't quite make it to grade 5, you can always carry on with that second Thieves Haven run you started. Anyways, I hope this guide helped at least one new pirate legend out on the seas today. It's been your boy, Top Dog Roller 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 Dog, and peace! Frocks and Coronation Street.